In this video, I'd like to talk to you about an essential test you should be getting to monitor your cancer. It's called circulating tumor DNA, or CTDNA for short. Circulating tumor DNA are pieces of cancer genetic material that are spilled into the blood by cancer cells. And these genetic fragments are an excellent marker of the cancer burden in the body. Now you might be wondering how CTDNA is superior to routine tumor markers we test in the blood, such as CEA, CA199, or CA2729. And the answer is that CTDNA is a very small entity, and unlike the classic tumor markers, it's only present when there is cancer in the body. In addition, CTDNA can detect cancer well before it shows up on imaging, such as PET scan, CT scan, or MRI. By testing CTDNA in the blood, we get a very precise measurement of what's really going on. Now this isn't to say that circulating tumor DNA testing should replace routine lab testing and imaging. They each have their own unique advantages, so CTDNA should ideally be used alongside these other tests and not instead of them. The CTDNA test I use in my practice is the Signaterra test, and it works like this. Signaterra's lab obtains tumor tissue from a patient's prior surgery or biopsy. Signaterra then coordinates with the pathology lab, which houses the patient's tissue. Then, Signaterra scientists spend the next month or so analyzing that tumor tissue, with the goal of identifying unique molecular patterns specific to that patient and their cancer. The result is a genetic signature, which can then be used to detect cancer in that patient's blood sample, hence the name Signaterra. The first part of this testing takes about a month with the test result being positive or negative. A positive result means that cancer was detected and a numerical value is given up to two decimal places. And this is a very precise measurement we're getting as to the cancer burden in the body. Of course, a negative test means that no cancer was detected. The nice thing about this genetic signature is that it doesn't change over time or with treatment. So subsequent tests simply require a blood draw to be done on the patient, and we get results in about a week or two. I obtain Signaterra testing on my patients at baseline just before we start treatment, and then I recheck it in about a month or two to see how we're doing. And this gives me great feedback as to how my treatment protocol is working for that patient, and it allows for any tweaks to the regimen to be made if needed. Another advantage of Signaterra testing is that it allows for precise monitoring after successful treatment. A Signaterra of 0.00, .00 meaning no cancer was detected, is an important way to declare that the patient is truly NED, no evidence of disease. And we can continue monitoring Signaterra at routine intervals to ensure that the rest of the testing remains negative. If there's a recurrence of the cancer, we want to know as soon as possible. I've seen Signaterra tests become positive well before cancer was able to be detected on scans or on conventional tumor markers. So if you have cancer, I strongly encourage you to ask your oncologist about Signaterra testing. I found it to be truly invaluable to my practice.